off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi friends <sighs> Limited um, uh, arm movements today I'm very, very tender, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> but today is the day we are going to get as many of the back to school supplies as possible. But we are first, what? In the closet, in the yellow bag. I think their closet door just fell off the hinge. Um, oh, okay. Um, so maybe we'll go up there. Maybe not. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> had a really rough night last night. Um, didn't get out of bed until 11 a.m. this morning. But before we go school shopping, we've already done a little bit for Ashley. I'll show you what we've got for Ashley so far. But before we go, um, I'm going through my office supply bucket and seeing what we already have so we don't duplicate. So here we go. Yep, take that up to Dad. Okay, yeah, take it up. <laughs> All right. So this is what I have for Ashley so far. Um, this stuff we got at Target, um, I don't know, about a week ago when I was there. Goodness sakes. All right, car alarm is off. So we got some glue sticks um, and highlighter pens, erasers, and I already had this folder. This is for Ashley's recorder class, which I didn't know we were doing again in fifth grade. I thought we were done with that last year, but now I'm going through my bucket. That's my pen. And I'm finding that I actually have a 12 count of colored pencils for her already sharpened. They're actually like from a nice kit versus just like Crayola. This is actually from like an actual art kit. Um, the black ones are just because I didn't have a red color. Must have like gotten taken out or something. And then I also had a back supply of pencils. And I don't care if I send them with a Ticonderoga, whatever that brand is, or the Office Depot brand. I don't care. So that is, I think, two dozen of the pencils that she's required to have. So I might need to get another dozen. But now I'm kind of going through. These are like all of our excess pens that people have just kind of dumped back into the bag. Um, I have a back supply of uh, sticky notes. I think Abby might want to have those ones. And then I'm just kind of going through there. I also have some extra mechanical pencils in here and in here. And just like sorting through. Ashley said her list does say it could, um, she could take crayons. She just doesn't color with crayons even at school. And in fifth grade, I don't, I don't know, whatever. So I'm just trying to see what else we have in here that they might need. All right, we made our way down to one of the last office deep like stores in our area. Took us a bit to get here. All right, Ashley's on a roll here. She's got the list. She picked out a pencil pouch. Abby has a pencil pouch got erasers for most of them. Chelsea's getting some art erasers as well as a regular one. And Sharpies, sanitizer for Ashley's class. I need tape and expo markers for Ashley. Okay, we'll show everything we got at Staples, but we are over here at Target now. Chelsea's picked out a new backpack in dark blue and Ashley has a light blue and Abby has a black one. All right, we are gonna quickly show you everything we got for the kids for their back to school. This is what we had for Ashley from um, our previous Target trip and going through our um, supplies that we already had. We had brand new, um, what do you call these, colored pencils, and we had a brand new pack of crayons already. These are used scissors. I think I bought new scissors this size every year for every kid. We have a bajillion of them, so I didn't buy a new one. Got new erasers for her, bought um, glue sticks for her, and then we had folders already. We had a black one, we had a purple one, and we had a yellow one. And then this um, little comp notebook we did pick up at Target for her just as a cute color because she only needed one. And I only have one kid who has a specific need for comp no notebooks. In the past when every kid needed one and they needed like five, you know, one for every subject, I made them get the cheapo ones that were like 20 cents each. But. <laughs> She's a different child, last one in elementary school, so we did it a little bit different. Okay, I'm gonna come up on a stool. I'll show you what I got for Ashley. 
So we got her some Expo markers and Sharpies. Um, she's only gonna get two of each of these. Actually, the four is for her, but two Sharpies. And then the other ones are just gonna go into my back stock office supply. Since we already had, I think I have um, two dozen pencils already, I just had to get one more set of 12. Then she picked up a cute little pencil pouch um, to put all of her color pencils and pencils in. And it kind of is cute with her new backpack in that it has like the black zippers and then the pale colors. Um, she does need a new set of headphones for school. Ashley, didn't we get the other pack or did we not get the other one? Okay, so I think that's not all for Ashley. We got the extra supplies for the teacher. We got some sanitizer, some Clorox wipes, and um, I got tape for myself along with these tissues, which I think they're cute. You're the bee's knees. Nope, you're the bee's sneeze. Hank, you're in chief. Easy breezy, sneezy. I think they're kind of cute. I'm actually gonna probably take one of these and put it in my car, because I can't stand when we use a toilet paper roll in the car. I, I just, I can't handle that. Honestly, what you could do is just like use it and then put a roll in it and then shove it in and then like. And then it would come out. Yeah, that would be better. All right, so Chelsea's supplies, again, it's it's kind of like she got this, but really like every girl is gonna get a, an eraser, um, except for Ashley. Yeah. These ones are better for the older kids when they're writing um, more stuff for school and they're better erasers. Um, and then Chelsea got this one um, more for her art. <laughs> she does do so much artwork that um, having the better erasers works for really good for her. Then we got um, some refill packs for their mechanical pencils, which are here in Abbey Stack. But again, we're gonna divide and conquer. Then Chelsea picked out her backpack. It is a nice navy blue with, it's a Jansport, correct? I think mm -hmm. it's a Jansport. I think you and Ashley got, or Ashley and Chelsea got Jansport, correct? Mm -hmm. And then when we were at Target, Chelsea found a pair of jeans that she liked. So she got those ones for back to school. She also just got a regular old binder with some lined paper, um, just cause she, they kind of know how middle school and high school work and how they like to have their um, notebooks. So she's gonna do it this way. These notebooks we already had here at home. I have a five, um, five subject notebook that we had left over from last year that she's just gonna use um, this year. And then we also have an extra graphing notebook I always buy an extra one of these because they're hard to find beyond like back to school time in case they fill it up during the school year. I like to have a backup one. So that's Chelsea. She'll use both of those and kind of figure out how she wants to do her notebooks. And then, like I said, we're gonna kind of split some of these. These are du duplicate colors in a lot of these shades. So Abby and Kaylee can share these. I might actually take a few colors because there's like there's a ton of, ton of these, but the G2 pencils um, by Pilot are one of our favorite pens. Did I say pencils? They're pens. And then Kaylee put in one request for Papermate mechanical pencils, which is why we just got a bunch of refills of the ink, or the then we got a bunch of re the refills for the lead, um, and then they're just gonna split these ones up as well. Abby got um, some white out. Um, very helpful and then she chose three different um, one subject notebooks it was hard to find ones that had more than more than 70 pages so we finally found these ones they have a hundred pages um, per subject um, so that's helpful and then she also just got some uh, folders to put loose papers in um, she needs a binder she can because there's little holes in them and then she also picked out a little sweatshirt for back to school and for her birthday because we couldn't find anything. We went shopping for her birthday and then she chose um, just a very simple but very um, kind of utilita utilitarian black backpack that is gonna work great for her. All right, we have decided, well, we found out this morning that his brother and family are coming into town um we just live like an hour away but so coming to town is kind of coming to town and they're going out to dinner at red robin with their kids for their daughter's birthday which i think was like last week or the week before and um 
So Jason's like, well, let's go and celebrate Abby's birthday at the same time. So we're all heading over there. Jacob and Kaylee are actually joining us as well. And um, yeah, that's how I feel. I could actually just get into bed for the rest of the day. <laughs> um, but I am letting Jason drive um, today. And when I do get home, I am gonna call it a day. Very sore this week. Is that real or is that no, like? That it was, was real. real. It was real. All right. Um, yeah. spooky <laughs> um what i'm learning i don't know if that's the right phrase i do these little two hour stints to get out of the house and get things done that i need to get done as a mom as a parent like going to get like the kids back to school supplies we still have a couple months but it's just timing and I don't know I just would rather get the stuff when everything is on sale and at, available at the stores but it's just it takes a major toll on my body like a major toll we only had an hour in between doing school shopping before we decided to go to dinner with Jason's family which I, I want to do, wanted to do and I don't regret doing it but, um, <laughs> I've been in bed since we got home. It's 9 o'clock. We met them at 5 o'clock, had dinner. I think we're heading home by 6.30 or so, right? I don't know what time we got home. It just takes a huge toll on my body, and I don't... Let me brush my hair, boo. And for those who are curious... She likes doing this when she wants to do it. She's not grossed out to put lotion on my legs. I kinda am. No, you're not. You're fine. You've done it like your whole life. You've done it since you were a little toddler. But um, also I've had some trolls on my channel. If you've seen her in the comments, yes, it's a, I don't know if it's a her, maybe it's a him. I'm trying to get rid of them, but they'll probably come back. Um, because I don't need the negativity, but it's just, it's taking a toll on my body and I think Jason has a chance to skip work tomorrow and stay home. We have zero plans. I have zero things that are required of me tomorrow. Abby can go to work by herself in the car. She can drive herself there. She can bring herself home. Um, but I, yeah, I need to wash my hair. I just need, I need to do nothing tomorrow. Uh -huh. But with that brings a little bit of guilt with the kids. They understand they're all doing their own thing anyway, but um, I think I'm gonna see if Jason can stay home tomorrow. If anything, just to help occupy them, give Ashley something to do tomorrow. Hobby Lobby, Ash, I don't know. Just that I don't have to do it and don't feel obligated to do it and allow myself to fully rest. It's really curly, huh? Yeah, I just, I really need to rest and give my body a chance to just relax for a whole day. Um, Sunday, I do want to go to church, um, but that's only two hours. But again, that just will exhaust me for the rest of the day. So I want to give myself this weekend to just kind of do that. Um, I'm closing my eyes because it feels good when she does my hair. She's just twisting it. I think, is dad making my creamy downstairs? Mm -hmm. He's making me a ninja creamy. I hope he adds the peanut butter in at the end. I and do. do you know if he got any more waffle cones? Mm -hmm. He did? Yeah. Oh, what a smart man. Because I kind of want to take the Ninja Creamy pint 
And with my spoon, put it into my waffle cone. Oh, waffle here. Cones here he, oh, Gabby. Huh? Hi. Why does everyone want to do my cake tonight? Because she already started to put Cool Whip on it. It's fine, it'll last another day. Please. We can do it another day. Tomorrow, we have to do it tomorrow. Well, um, we're gonna, like, I don't think the cake will last beyond tomorrow. I don't care if we do it for lunch or breakfast, but we just need to do it tomorrow. Okay. Okay. I have plenty of, no one can eat strawberries then, because if we do, I'm gonna- Yeah, we have them. to save the strawberries. Okay, well I'm working late tomorrow, so I have to do it earlier. Okay. You work 12 to nine? Yes, I'm gonna do it for lunch, that's fine. Okay. Put the strawberries down in the lower part of the fridge so that we don't eat them. I was very tempted to have them for lunch today. Um, so I think he's, anyway, so that'll be yummy to have a treat here. I'm trying to, I was getting really sleepy laying in bed. And uh, I can't, my problem is that I can't let myself, I need my body to rest. But if I end up taking a nap, which some days I just have to, then I'm awake until two or three in the morning like I was last night. My, then I, my body will start to itch. I'll start to get like hives or I have other itches and then I can't go to sleep. I took two melatonin at one in the morning. That didn't work. And so at 2.30 in the morning, the itches had started. I pick up my skin. Do you want? It's into a waffle bowl. Can you just bring the Ninja pint and the waffle bowl separate? Question mark. Thank you. Um, he's being a nice man. What was I saying, Ash? What was I just saying? Uh, you get hives. And so I, yeah, so I had hives at like 2:30 in the morning, just itching. Every weird, it's just weird place. Anyway. So at 2.30 in the morning, I took a Benadryl, which knocked me out at 3 a.m. <sighs> then I was just absolutely obliterated. I could not, I woke up at eight because I had to pee bad. And then luckily I went back to sleep until 11. 10, I woke up at 10 and it took me two hours to get ready for the day because I was so tired. So I'm trying to not take a nap and go to sleep now. Currently kind of already. It's nine. Out. Um, so that I can be really, really, really tired when I go to bed. Because I really want to fall asleep and be asleep soundly by 11 or, you know, even like midnight. I really want, I would love that. So, it's just part of this recovery process, I know, but it's just, I feel like the mom guilt for not giving them a summer, but at the same time, She's been doing a lot of cheer stuff. She starts her new cheer squad next week, which is just the evenings. So Ashley, I'm hoping to maybe do like a beach day yeah, with your friends. Can your friends go? Ella's going back on Monday and Sadie's yeah. back. Sunday. So maybe we do something Wednesday. My my trick with the with beach days is I would love to just go sit. Battery. Oh, battery. I would love to go sit somewhere and enjoy the sun on my body. I don't have a swimsuit, so I just had to wear a tank top. But I have to have my friend come with me and she has to set up all of my equipment and Ashley has to come with me to pull it all because I can't do any of it, which is fine. My friend has already told me she would help me and guess what, you're gonna help me too. Either way. But I want them to have enough friends there at the beach to enjoy their time so that it's not wasted effort to go there and set it all up. I don't want them to say after an hour they wanna go home. Here's my uh, Ninja Creamy of it. Look at this, Mr. Man. Mr. Coming Man. to save the day. I got a waffle bowl. Waffle bowl. Instead of a waffle cone. It's a little bit different. This is the most peanut buttery smooth amazingness I I ever. My Ninja Cozy. I need my Cozy. Oh, where's that at? In the drawer with the, the towels. Oh. Isn't that so good? It's super good. Mmm. Alright, Ashley will come down and get your cozy. Seems like she has to puke. I mean, mm hmm. Alright, Jason brought me 
cute little cozy. He is cozy. Oh. It doesn't matter. Let's see. I thought they looked the same. They did. Oh, this one might be mine. So cute. Um, I just thought of that, about this. I, I saw this today. They said depression is about worrying about the past. Yeah. Anxiety is worrying about the future. Mm -hmm. And happiness is enjoying the moment. Yeah, that's a good one. Right? It's a good one. It's true. It's very true. Yeah. yeah. It's trying to let go of what you can't control. Yeah. In both. Yeah. It's, it's hard to do. Because she was like, Mom, why are you closing your eyes while you're sitting here? I was like, because I'm happy. You're, yeah. Like, it feels good to do, have you doing my hair, and it feels good to be eating my ice cream. I'm Life closing, is pretty good right I'm now. I'm closing my eyes, and I'm enjoying this moment. Yeah. I'm like, I love my family. Yes, I love you too, honey. I love you. Okay, can you turn my camera off? <laughs> <laughs> Battery's back. Easy, easy on our tiptoes.